Hi guys, welcome to Talk To Me Tuesday for Tuesday, August 5th, 2014. This is Jennifer and I'm standing on the, the other side of the room today because my table is right here and I have the traveling salt box. I'm jumping in real quick. It is actually Tuesday today. I recorded the rest of this video yesterday and I just had a couple things I wanted to throw in that I didn't include yesterday when I did this. There's a little project going on on my design wall back here. This is a uh, Phantom and Stitches Facebook group project. It's another um, quilt for a sick kiddo and I will tell you guys more about that next week. I did want to let you know that the Project of Doom, the Make-A-Wish Project of Doom was delivered and I'm going to put some pictures at the end of this video. Um, all of these pictures were taken by Amy who is a Phantom and Stitches community member and she was part of the delivery team you will see a picture of her she's dressed like Molly Weasley and I'm totally thrilled that that was delivered and um, all of the goodies were really appreciated the project of doom was appreciated it was all it was all a wonderful experience for the people involved this week on Phantom and Stitches um, the theme was Harry Potter quotes which I'm super excited about this is actually what started the entire event because there is something I have wanted to do for a really long time and I have not designed really anything maybe one or two things since the project of doom but i've really kind of stopped doing harry potter stuff because after you design about 200 you feel kind of done but there's one thing that i've wanted to do for a long time that um i decided to do for this event and actually like i said it's kind of the reason the event started and that is this design which is mr weasley's quote from chamber of secrets which is never trust anything that can think for itself if you can't see where it keeps its brain. And I really wanted it to look like a sampler, like something that Mrs. Weasley would stitch and hang on the wall in the bro. So it's all different purples. And I found this great little griffin. This is actually part of a font um, set. And all of my fonts for this stitch will be credited in the pattern. So you can find, um, this is actually a font and the, the Griffin is part of a font set, so you can find those fonts if you want them to, uh, for yourself. Uh, yesterday, after being requested many, many, many times, I started a So Hooked Facebook group. So it's actually a group. I have a So Hooked Facebook page, I have my own Facebook page, but this is a group, so you can post pictures, you can ask questions, you can share um, whatever you want to share on there that has to do with, with So Hooked. Um, so make sure you jump in there. I will be giving away a free magazine today, so if you haven't joined yet, be sure and join. So that link will be in the description. And I think the last time I checked, there were over 60 people already, which just blows my mind because oh, when I started yesterday morning, it was empty. And so that's exciting, you guys. I uh, really appreciate that. I know having a community around the patterns and the projects that you like to work on is a really huge inspiration. So there's, there's also a Project of Doom group just for the project of doom and there is a paper piecing vintage group but you're welcome to come to the so hooked group and talk about either of those projects but if you're looking for those specifically they also have their own groups and i will put those in the description too so the traveling salt box arrived uh at the end of last week and i have had it sitting and waiting for talk to me tuesday i've been dying to open it as you can see it's completely sealed i have not opened it yet um the last person to have it was snowy 44 and it has made the rounds through everyone that signed up for the swap just a refresher, um, the Traveling Swap Box has gone through, I believe, 12 or 13. I think I'm the 13th person. So I sent the Swap Box out several months ago. It went to Hard Hat Cat first in Australia, worked its way back through um, to the United States again. And then since then, it has gone through uh, numerous people in the U.S. Uh, if you guys watch the videos on ttmt.livejournal.com, you've seen the box going from person to person. You've seen what people have been taking out of the box. So one of the stipulations of the box was that you not show what you're putting in the box. So every person that sees the box gets a surprise because you only show what you're taking out. So I am now going to see what's left that I put in there um, and I'll show whatever's left. So uh, the way I'm gonna do this is whatever I want from this because I started the box, the very first box came for me, everything in the box came for me. So. I will keep what I want and everything else will go into prizes for Phantom and Stitches, for So Hooked, and um, for Talk To Me Tuesday. So let's see what's in the swap box. Here's your first sneak peek. It's very organized. All right, that's everything in the box. So let's start at the top. These are, and I know who put these in here because I already own one of these. These are small handmade books made by Snowy44. We have a box of assorted tea, which I will share with my lovely daughter. She's a big fan of tea. These actually came from me. These are, uh, I think there were six or so of these to start with. These are just big um, beads. I used these on a project years ago and 
Um, I think maybe probably four of those were taken. Uh, lovely stamp, beautiful little hand painted mask. We've got some dress fasteners. These are possibly for me. I did put some stuff like that in there. We've got a bag with some ribbon and some beads and some little spools. Um, I did put some little spools in, but I don't know if these are mine or not. Who knows? Some acrylic yarn. An entire package of row counters made by Snowy44. We've got a little photo frame. It's a little picture album a lovely handmade card and just oh more like a handmade book how cool another little mask to go with the first one i just dumped this in a pile and i'm going from the top we've got some shoulder pads some counted cross stitch fabric a teddy bear panel i'll have a look at that later and see if that's something appropriate for linus We've got some lace fabric. Ah, oh, Terry sent me her, uh, this is her paper piecing vintage signature block. So this will go on my signature block stuff. Got a little bit more fabric and some more fabric and some more fabric and some more fabric, just little bits and pieces of fabric. There's something wrapped here. So let's open this up and see what it is. A beautiful pair of handmade socks. Now I have to say that I'm assuming these are Snowy 44 because she is our sock queen. There are three pairs of socks in here and as fantastically greedy as it might seem, I'm keeping all of them because I absolutely adore hand knitted socks. Before I continue, I just found a card with the uh, with these socks from Terry. And she says these are a thank you for a box of yarn I sent her recently. So thank you, Terry. I really appreciate it. As you guys probably know, I have been collecting yarn for the Linus Connection for some time now. And I got a lot of yarn that was sock yarn that had was wool blend and other yarns that we could not use for Linus. And so um, I know Terry is a prolific sock maker and she gives away a lot of her beautiful socks. So I decided to pay it forward and give her all of that yarn so that she could continue making really awesome socks for uh, her friends and family and whatnot. And so Terry, thank you for the socks. Like I said, I'm going to be greedy and I'm going to keep the other two pair too. Got an entire bag of DMC, which will make a fantastic prize for Phantom and Stitches. Some of the things in this bag came from me, but not all of them. Let's see. Um, these guys were from my stuff. This, however, this little guy was not. And there's a lovely pair of big loopy earrings, which I will... Uh-oh. Which I will totally wear. I'll go fetch the other one in just a second. Um, I think this was one of my patterns. This is actually a brand new uh, cargo pants pattern that I bought years ago and then never made. We've got some photo corners. It's a poinsettia wreath pattern. This was one of mine. This is a tiny embroidery pattern. So, so far I've only seen about three or four things of mine. This is a, a leprechaun make and take. It's actually a little kit to make a leprechaun, which was one of my things too. Some beautiful handmade cards. I'm gonna assume these came from Liza because she makes beautiful cards. Got some postcards from Australia. Self-adhesive shapes. I've got school shapes and I have pet shapes. Now I see this and I think of Marianne. We've got sewing combo with zippers and buttons, which is a kit that has all kinds of little goodies in there, including some nice zippers. I know Marianne's always looking for good zippers. Um, let's see, this, I think this might have been one of mine. This came out of maybe my free box. If this isn't, that's, no, I apologize. But this is another pattern. This is uh, Little Bird Houses. Got a bunch of crochet hooks, which I am actually um, collecting now because there's a, a thing that uh, Linus is going to do with crochet hooks and knitting needles. So if you have spares and you don't need them and you happen to be sending a package my way, throw them in there because it'll be, uh, it's a fun thing we're going to do. Got some sunglasses, just miscellaneous little papers. Uh, here's a patchwork quilt book. Here's a how to quilt book from McCall's, a nice old quilt book. Um, crochet pillows. It's got crochet, it looks like all crochet pillow patterns, yeah. We've got a, a December 95 quilt maker. There you go. I wasn't even quilting yet. And we have a Sweet Memories cross-stitch book. And we have 
uh, froggy counted cross stitch. How oh, it has the hoop and everything in there. Got another skein of yarn. This is a little bag. It's got some thread. It's got some pins. It's got some snaps in there. We've got some sparkle confetti. This is the rest of the Talk To Me Tuesday pins. I uh, made sure there was enough for everyone to take one. It feels like a fusible, a fabric with a fusible on the back. These beads were actually for me. Got another little sewing kit that's got thread and needles and that kind of thing. A little bit more Ada cloth and one more zipper and I think that's it. I think that's everything. I will show you the table because it is insane. I have it all spread out. It's crazy. Um, I didn't keep count but there were maybe six things left from the original box that I sent out several months ago so that's pretty cool. Um, thank you everyone that participated. This was a really fun project to do. There is some just awesome stuff in here. I will go through it again and make a pile for myself. A lot of this will end up in my free box for uh, prizes and giveaways for Fandom and Stitches for So Hooked. And I think we need to do this again soon. Um, I will think about that and maybe we'll do it again in uh, 2015. I have another idea for a swap just for Talk To Me Tuesday members that I was thinking maybe we can do a one-on-one -on -one swap um, maybe in October. You guys let me know what you think about that. Leave me a comment. And that is only for people that make videos for Talk To Me Tuesday. So if you're part of the ttmt.livejournal.com community and you make videos, then you are invited to swap with us. Usually what I do is you need to have posted videos for at least a month before you participate in the swap because we need to know who you are, we need to know what you like, and we like to know that you're reliable. Um, that's nothing personal, I've just organized swaps for probably over a decade now, <laughs> and wow, I really have been, it's been since like 2005. Um, and if you don't know people, sometimes you can get flakers and you can, you know, end up someone ends up sending something and you don't uh, always end up getting something in return. So I'm, I'm really careful about that. So we like to know who you are before you join us in our swaps. So that's the end. Let's show you guys what's on this table so you can see the insanity that was the Talk To Me Tuesday traveling swap box. All right, so here's the table with all the traveling swap box stuff. Is that crazy or what? This is everything that was in that medium sized priority box. You guys are amazing. Oh, ignore the stuff in the back, that's fine. Um, you guys are amazing. This was a great swap. It was really fun to see everyone's videos and we will have to do this again.